Yo, what is good, John? Welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. I ain't even gonna cap. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all niggas. I'm gonna keep it a buck. A nigga kind of pissed off right now. So I'm sitting in my garage, chopping up with my nigga, Block Boy. You feel me? Go ahead and tap in, my nigga, one time. Hey, yo, nah, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. <laughs> my nigga said, my nigga said, I can't, be on the, I can't be on the channel. It's okay. Y'all make sure I go tap in with that orange thing. You feel me? The little booger, that's all. You know, he got some shit in the works. We ain't gonna we ain't gonna expose him or nothing, you feel me? But he got some shit coming. You know. So so bro, what was we what was we just doing? Man, we just talking about the car, man. My boy say, man, let me go and check the oil right quick Just that motherfucker, that bitch dry. Just let me take a look at it, huh? Just let me just hold on, let me pull this dipstick for y'all, bro. Let me pull this dipstick for you. Let me take these niggas to the light, bro. Right. Bro. Bro, y'all. Look at that dipstick. There's dead ass not a drop of oil on this dipstick at all. Just so y'all niggas know, this is not cap. This is the oil. You feel me? Dipstick right here. I legit just pulled this joint out. On some on some rando shit. Let me check my fluids type type mook. And these niggas, fuck, bro. That is crazy as shit. Ugh, I'm low key type hot right now. I ain't gonna lie. So with that being said, you feel me? Uh, I'm definitely finna send this video over to the dealership. I'm gonna do an oil change tomorrow. I already was gonna do that anyway. But like, bro, that shit's crazy as fuck. And what pisses me off. Is that I told I literally like know to check that shit when looking at a car anyway, and the nigga ain't check that hoe, bro. Like I just let the fact that this hoe 2021 and got 10,000 miles on it, like you know what I'm saying, make a nigga type naive type to think this hoe just be like straight, like nigga got oil pressure and all that shit, but like nigga my shit don't got oil, like hell no. Nah. So we gonna. Go ahead, do an oil change tomorrow. It's gonna be like five seconds for y'all. It's gonna be like twelve hours for me and my nigga. Black boy, you wanna say bye to him, bro? You you good to be on camera now? Y'all hey, stay tuned to that gap cam I put him on, man. See, uh, look, y'all. You, you see this angle right here? You feel me? That's exactly what he gonna see. He don't understand it. He said he don't look at paper tags. It's okay. We gonna be the first to show him. I, I already told him. <laughs> so. I'm going to get at y'all in like five seconds. Five minutes later. What is good, y'all? You dig what I'm saying? So, it is currently 12.03, January 11th, the day after I bought Venom. I mean, I stop saying Venom. Vader. Oh, Vader. wait. <laughs> uh, we just all over the place. So you guys can see. It's fucking late as hell. But anyway, um... We are on the way to the gas station right now um, to try to see about picking up some oil, man. Just so I can have some oil in the motor. I don't want to run a cold motor or no oil in the morning. I'm um, trying to get to work and then have the motor lock up on me. So, with that being said, we are about to go to the gas station, try to get some oil, um, and then put some oil in the car. Probably gonna buy like three, maybe four quarts. Uh, just to be on the safe side, um, and then we'll go from there, man. This is ridiculous. I never expected to be making a video like this, nor did I expect to be doing this. Sorry if the camera's uh, fuzzy or blurry or whatever, but see you guys when we get to the gas station. <laughs> Got some 5W30, got three quarts of that, you know what I'm saying, it say GM approves, um, so yeah, we're just going to throw that in the car, and then when we get to the shop tomorrow, we're going to throw the, do a full oil change, change the oil filter and all that, we're going to see what the oil looks like, so I'm going to see y'all when we get back to the crib. Alright y'all, so we just got back to the crib, got the missus behind the camera, 
Like I was saying, just got some Circle K 5W30, full synthetic, Dexos. Just gonna go ahead, put this in the car, man. As you guys saw earlier, the car has literally no oil showing up on the dipstick at all, so. I'm gonna put some oil in there. I'm gonna put like a quart or two starter up and uh, then check the stick again. All right, y'all, so I had to get a rig a filter, you know what I'm saying, a funnel. I'm gonna go ahead and get this oil in here, man. This is crazy. one quart I'm gonna do two and then we'll start it up take the dipstick again um, and uh, well we'll cut it off and take the dipstick of course but we're gonna turn it on first let the oil circulate then turn it off pull the dipstick see where we're at go from there the garage a little bit because of the exhaust fumes. I need the keys to start the car. Many unbearable hours later. Just put two quarts of oil in the car. Hopefully that's enough. We don't have an issue. Wow. Two quarts and it's still low. It was completely empty. <laughs> that's ridiculous. So I'm finna go ahead and add this third quart, man. Do the same process, fire it up and go from there. Hopefully that just gets me above like halfway. That way I can have a peace of mind, you know, driving my car to work tomorrow so I can do the oil change, but that's just ridiculous. Somebody gonna have to answer for that for sure. For sure, I need an answer as to who the hell, who they got written down that did the, supposedly did the oil change and who the hell did the inspection? Who did the uh, 20 point, 50 point, buyer's inspection i'm confused like what, what i don't understand how is that even possible 2021 10 000 miles come on now okay that's the third quart y'all just put three quarts of oil in here I'm gonna repeat the process again. Start it up, pull, cut it off, pull the dipstick, see where it's at. Okay, so it was three quarts low, y'all. Three quarts. Three quarts low on oil. So whoever did the oil change on this car sat there and put six quarts of oil in it, like it was a V6. Because these vehicles take nine and a half quarts of oil. You feel me? Three quarts and it's still borderline full. That's gonna get us to the J tomorrow. When do the oil change on the car, do a full inspection, do a rundown, get underneath the car and all that, um, and see what's up. But other than that, I'm just gonna go ahead and call it a night right now. 
Um, take the car to the shop tomorrow morning, and get it up in the air, do the oil change like I said. Check out everything underneath it. I was just playing with my uh, my valves on the active exhaust and they do work, um, so that's good. I'm super stoked about that. But um, yeah, I'm about to think about it, baby. Um, but yeah, uh, with that being said, y'all, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Um, it's a video I didn't expect to be making, um, but we did. My boy Blake said that they're gonna, you know, give me the money back for the oil that I had to spend uh, to buy or whatever. Um, but yeah, man, this is where we're at. It's crazy. With that being said, man, make sure you guys smash that subscribe button, turn on those post notifications, drop a comment in the comment section down below, give this video a big thumbs up, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace. Hey, I can finally say, it. I, say I did something in the garage. <laughs>